Hey, it's Ray here. I just wanted to make a quick video about Stackable Picture. As you probably know, we've been talking a lot about social media marketing and creating imagery and doing backgrounds and posts and things like that. And unfortunately for most of us, we're not graphic artists that can design all these different things. So I wanted to share with you this program here, Stackable Picture, which gives you a ton of graphical photo elements that you can put together into a nice um, picture, nice imagery, whatever. And the way it works is actually really, really smart and really simple. So for instance, if you come into any of these here, like let's go to one, uh, let's go to entertainment media. And by the way, this is the uh, base one here. I also have the ultimate here, which has a ton more stuff in it, but this is the, uh, the base one here. So we're gonna go in, we'll choose, uh, what did I say here, entertainment media. And you can see we got different things in here, sports players, sports elements, equipment, and then music is in there too, backgrounds, audiovisual devices. So all of these things are in here as elements that you can put together. So let's start off with like a background. We'll go to background one here to see what they've got in here. You can see there's a bunch of different backgrounds. Um, and I'm just gonna pull one up here. So uh, let's not do that. Let's do one that's like really a nice studio setup. Let's find something that makes sense for us here. And these are kind of close-ups. You can see all these different images are in here that you can look at and choose from to try and figure out what works best for you. And if none of them work for you, like these mostly are close-ups here, so we can actually go back. Let's try a different backgrounds one here. Let's go with backgrounds four this time. So we got, oh, we got a stage. All right, so this is going to be a little better. So let's look at some of these with the stages. All right. Find something that we like here. Oops. All right, let's go with this. This looks good. So we're going to take this image here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into Photoshop. You could do this with Canva. You could do this with you know, whatever program you use, they even have in here, by the way, a free program down here, which I had never heard of, uh, called PhotoP. And it basically is kind of like a, an online version of Photoshop. So you can do a lot of the Photoshop stuff online there. So it's called PhotoP. So if you don't have any software to do that, you can use that there. So we got this inside of here. What I'm going to do is I am going to resize this to fit my tiny little image here. You can see these videos, uh, these images are very high quality, very large. Okay, so there's our stage. Just center that there. So something like that. Okay. All right, so there we go. We've now got a stage, and we want to put some things on the stage. And so the way this works is kind of like playing the old color forms, if you remember color forms. And uh, so we're going to go in and we're going to go back. And now that we've got our stage in here, our background, we're gonna go back into our entertainment area, and now we can put different things in here. Now this obviously is not gonna be for sports in this particular one, so we don't need different sports or pro wrestling. Uh, recording equipment, let's take a look what we got there. We got cameras and people. So let's see, let's so just choose one of these there. So we got this lady here, let's actually use her, why not? We'll take her, and you can see she's cut out from the background, so we could drop her in here as if she's kinda of hiding in the background here, taking a picture of it all. <laughs> nice and easy, right? And now we can go back and we could say, oh, let's see what else we got in here. That's camera and people, so let's go out of recording equipment. And this time we could go into uh, musical instruments, why not? All right, here's a cello. Give that a second to load here. Uh, that's not gonna work for us. There's a drum. Another drum. So if we wanted to, we could take the drum. Let's just take the drum. Again, cut out from the background, and we can just drop it on the stage there. So we could leave it like that, or we could make it look like it's, you know, somebody left it on the stage. Oh, somebody left a drum there. Okay. So you can start to build a nice little image. We've got a banjo. Uh, let's see here. An accordion. Yes. So Weird Al is playing tonight, so we're going to have to have accordions out there. 
So we will we'll resize the accordions. And we'll drop those on the stage too. Well, look at all these instruments that are building on. This is going to be quite a show. We got a camera, we got accordions, <laughs> got a drum. So you kind of get the idea of what's going on here with this. You're kind of building a, an image that makes sense for you. And they've got all sorts of different ones. That, you know, I chose an entertainment one, but they've got country and business and, you know, you name it, they've got it on there. Let's, let's go out of uh, instruments and see what else we've got in here. Uh, Audiovisual devices. All right, let's see what we got here. Just got some speakers. So like desktop speakers though. Hey, we got a guy. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just grab a guy. Why not? This guy's an onlooker, and so we're gonna put him in here. <laughs> and again. You know, you can obviously you want to do one that makes a lot more sense and take a little more time than I'm taking here. But and this guy here, we're going to mess around with him because we're going to put him uh, up in the front of the stage here. Okay. So let's see, he's hanging out in the front here. And if you're good with this kind of stuff, you can really have some fun with this. Uh, and it's also a great way to kind of learn. So he's kind of checking it out from the front of the stage here. So we'll put him like over here, and we'll put him behind that drum. Of course, we don't want him to look like he's coming out of the drum, but so he's kind of hanging out in front of the stage there. So now we got she's taking a picture of him hanging out, listening to things, checking things out. And again, you can resize him if you think he's too small. You can make him bigger. Okay. And you know, like I said, just get in here and have a little bit of fun with this. You can, uh, if you're in Photoshop, and again, some of these other programs you can use. You can use Canva. You can use that uh, P program that we showed earlier, but. You know, with Photoshop, you can come in and you can adjust different things with this. So, for instance, we could put a drop shadow on there if we wanted to to make it, give it a little shadow on there and we can change that around. And you can see the light on here kind of looks like it's coming uh, coming like this way. So we want to want to change that shadow. Something like that. And we can, we can soften it up if we need to. Change the spread. And just make it look nice and realistic as much as possible. And then, of course, once you do that, then you can start to do, you know, if you got a message that you want to put on here, you can do that. All the world is a stage. Oops, get back here. Get back here, stupid mouse. And again, you know, I'm doing this in Photoshop and I'm and I'm doing more than you might need to do. You might be able to keep it a lot simpler than what I'm doing. Um, turn off the global light there because we don't want to mess with that. Okay, so the point being is very quickly and easily we could put something together that, you know, let's be honest, we're not going to find this image <laughs> searching on Google. Now certainly you could probably do better and take a little bit of time, but this is kind of cool that you can put these things together. Um, this one here, obviously there was no planning that went involved in this, I just kind of wanted to show you how this works. And inside of here, you know, you've got tons and tons and tons of stuff that you can uh, work with. You know, as we said, if we go back into here, and you can look on the sales page, it's going to tell you, but the country roads, which they show on there, so you got all the different country elements, um, you know, refuge sign. <laughs> hey, look, it's now a wildlife refuge. Maybe the, this concert is for wildlife refuge. There we go. <laughs> but point being is, you've got all these different things that you could work with and come up with some really, really cool stuff. Great for posting to social media. Um, a lot of different elements for you to use, trees, signs. Uh, coming back in here, you've got your backgrounds, you've got your rural areas, I and mean, look at that, beautiful. All of this stuff can be used if you're looking for more business-related stuff, look at the under the sea, uh, extra spicy is a food one, the, uh, the woodworks, the wild, the urban life, the universe, they've got planets and things in there. 
uh, the study place, the sky kingdom, the playground, the luxurious life, the green tech, taking it to the extreme, sweet tooth, stay connected, soul sanctuary, rest and relaxation, uh, okay, patisserie. I'm usually pretty good with words. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but let's take a look here. Oh, oh, I okay. Maybe it's a fancy word for some sort of pastries. Okay. That works. Again, going out here, going back down. Stay connected. Uh, music and muscles. Likely companions, work areas. Our life together, old dynasty, corporate lives, heavy armor, harvest, gaming. Look at that. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. An old collection. They got the uh, ancient weapons one, which is really cool. You have to check that out on the page. Um, industrialization, high tech. Yeah, let's see the high tech backdrops here. As you can see, all sorts of different things in here. So you can use these as stock media. You can put things together. And again, oh, look at that. You got the iPhone, so you could actually take that, and you could put things on the phone if you wanted to. So you can do a lot of really, really cool stuff inside of here. Um, just a ton of content that you can use for all sorts of different things. Colossal Cargo. The ocean. Yep, there you go. So anyway, this is a little more than stock media because you got all those great cutout items. And the best part about that is you don't need to, need to put these on the backgrounds. You know, if you wanted to, uh, if you had something, let's say you had a, a post you needed to do about trucks or you had a website you were going to do about trucks, you know, you could come in here and you could just grab the truck. Again, it's going to have the background cut out of it. So you can put that right on a page and it's not going to have that white box around it. It's going to go over the page uh, with all this cut out here. So a lot of really cool stuff. So I highly recommend you check this out, whether you're doing social media or something else. Um, it's going to be a big help for you. Love this and love these guys. These guys always put out great products. This is like the next evolution of that. And again, they do have um, the uh, ultimate version here, which I have. And that's got a whole bunch more stuff in here. Of course, they've even got some bonuses in there that you can check out as well. So check this out. Stackable image or stackable picture is the name of the product. Check it out. If you need to use stock media, if you need cutout images, if you want to be able to put together social media images and backgrounds, this is the way to do that nice and easy. And again, you don't need to have Photoshop. You can use Canva. You can use that uh, P program that they showed. And there are other ones out there as well. But uh, in any way, you, any way you stack it up, you should be able to get a lot of variety and a lot of good stuff out of this. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk to you soon.